right, so the final question is uh, question number three. Determine the coordinate, the y coordinate of the vertex of y equals one fifth x squared uh, plus two x minus one. So what makes this a little bit different is that we have that fraction in front. So we're going to have to start thinking about how do we factor out, okay, how do we factor out a fraction? Don't be frightened, it'll be fine. Another thing that I want to draw your attention to is that we're looking for the y coordinate of the vertex. Why am I doing that? Well, I basically got you in question two to look for the x coordinate of the vertex, which we can also call, um, if we set it equal to x, we can uh, say that that is the uh, equation of, of symmetry or the axis of sym symmetry. Uh, the equation of the axis of symmetry, actually, um, and I just wanted to, you know, treat them both the same. Ask a general vertex question, then ask one about the x, ask one about the y. Now, the, what makes this a doozer is that factoring out of the one-fifth. So what we want to do is we want to factor out a one-fifth from both of them, both of the first two, and leave the second. So y equals one-fifth now, when you divide one-fifth by one-fifth, you get one! So it makes this factoring really easy, x squared. What's really difficult about it is this one. Um, if you look at this question, there is going to be a lot of whiteout. Number one, I think I'm a math champion, so I think that I can use pen. Guys, just letting you know, I'm not a math champion. So actually, nobody's a math champion enough to use pen to do math always use a pencil. Item number two, I messed up on this question I think three times before I actually got the real answer. And the reason why is because this whole factoring out a one-fifth thing really threw me for a loop. I'm just going to write down what the answer should be. Plus 10x minus 1 and now I'm going to explain it. Why? Because when, whenever, you, whenever you get a factored form if you multiply it by both of the terms, okay, if you multiply out the factored form, you should get the original. 5 times x is 1 fifth, okay, 5, sorry, no, no, 1 fifth times x is 1, uh, x squared is 1 fifth, 1 fifth times 10x is 2. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm taking 2 and dividing it by, maybe I can just do that here, we're taking the 2 and dividing it by 1 fifth, which is just the same as saying 2 times 5 over 1, which is 10. Okay, this is just a little side note. So that's what we're actually doing. We're dividing by 1 fifth. Uh, 2 divided by 1 fifth is 10. And we don't have to worry about that one. Uh, we're just going to worry about the first two. We've got to think, okay, what do we have to add and subtract, or what do we need to add to this to make it a perfect square trinomial? And then we have to subtract it, because then it's like we didn't do it at all. One plus one minus one, it's zero. Y equals one fifth x squared plus 10x plus 25 minus 25 minus 1. I'm just going to change markers here because this one really stinks. So then what I'm, go what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go 1 fifth times negative 25. So y equals 1 fifth times x squared plus 10x plus 25. 1 fifth times 25 is just negative, times negative 25 is negative 5 minus 1. Wow, that one really stinks too. Just my luck. Try this one. Some people are going to say, do I need to write this step? Can I just, can I just go to 1 fifth times x plus 5 squared? Absolutely. I just don't want to confuse you right now. Minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. So when we look at this, I know that my vertex is negative 5 comma negative 6. So if I'm looking for the x coordinate of the vertex, I can say, uh, sorry, not x coordinate, I keep on saying that, sorry, y coordinate of the vertex. y coordinate is negative 6. And we're done. Thank you.